The term Mediterranean stems from the Latin word Mediterraneus, which is thought to mean midland or surrounded by land. But the title of Mediterranean can also be interpreted as Middle Earth, and, with the sheer number of ancient civilizations strewn around the Mediterranean basin, the idea of this giant harbor being a navel, a center, or a birthplace for humanity's progress on our beautiful planet makes perfect sense. However, it is not only from around the Mediterranean that humanity's progress has unfolded and grown. Many of the world's greatest civilizations have sprung up around the northern tropic of Cancer. Like a belt of cultured jewels around the navel of Mother Earth, these ancient centers of civilization appear as flashes of light, pushing out from the darkness of the last ice age. There is Egypt and its great pyramids, Rome, Greece and Carthage of the Mediterranean, as well as the famous cultures of Babylon, Sumer, the Fertile Crescent and the Middle East. The Indus Valley and Vedic civilizations of the Indian subcontinent and its mountainous Himalayan civilizations, the Yellow River Valley culture and the pyramids of Western and Central China and the island and jungle civilizations hidden in the Southwest Pacific and Central America, all of these and others are ancient centers of humanity located in or around the northern tropic of Cancer. The presence of this cultural band could signify not only humanity's progress in the temperate zones of our unpredictable but beautifully dynamic planet, but also the potential resurgence and rebuilding of civilization following the devastation of the last ice age. The idea that human civilization is older than we have previously thought is an old one in itself. However, the belief that these cultural centers are more than just accidental advancements in human evolution is now becoming stronger and stronger. From this perspective, this ancient belt of human culture and civilization may be viewed as a giant university, a worldwide mystery school containing vital colleges and places of learning and relearning. Egypt could well be considered a center for this great relearning, with the pyramids themselves an allegorical allusion to the cosmological lesson, the astronomical, terrestrial, and anatomical natural laws, which were entwined with the metaphors and allegories of the heavenly, earthly, and human legends, fairy tales, and lore. Many of the great minds of Europe, and further afield no doubt, visited Egypt to enhance or complete their education in allegory, symbolism, civilization, and culture. Egypt is thought to be a microcosm of the universe and a fractal of the Earth itself. Its location and measurements are thought to be both fractions of the heavens and a scale model of our beautiful and miraculous planet. However, it may not only have been astronomical and terrestrial lessons being taught in the great university of Egypt. The human body, its anatomy, workings and true potential were perhaps the most important lesson of all. Egypt, its pharaohs, nobles, adepts and priest class, like many of the great centers of learning and relearning, were completely preoccupied with life youth, longevity, and the idea of life after death. They believed in the transmigration of the soul and an energetic rebirth in both a metaphorical sense while still in the material world and the spiritual sense when we leave it. Bearing this concept in mind, it is only logical to conclude that the ancient Egyptian priests were not merely instructors in the laws and mechanics of the heavens and the earth, but also experts in the human body, its anatomy, and its true physical, mental, and spiritual or energetic potential. These ancient academies are the mystery schools, 
and the masters and adepts of these invisible colleges are the recorders of our histories. They are the historians, authors, nobles, and leaders of our past. If the evidence of their existence and labors were obvious, the mystery would be less mysterious. After all, what use is a mystery school if the location, curriculum, and purpose are well known to all? Egypt, the land of the summer stars, may stand alongside the other grand cultural hubs of ancient times as a cradle of civilization. A place where the different peoples of our magnificent planet may have united to labor on a monumental endeavor, the reconstruction of civilization. It could be considered a birthplace of human culture or a rebirth, perhaps, a renaissance of human knowledge and a record of true human potential. The pyramids of Egypt can be looked upon as unmovable symbolic markers of this ancient teaching, the teaching of true human ingenuity and true human potential. The pyramids could be the greatest beacon and directional signpost ever created by humanity, a sign pointing to humanity's unification and advancement under the banner of a mysterious shared past and a bright and exciting future.